words left on the shelf Full of dust, you know it's me and from nobody Well, you did it. <laughs> it's a successful intro. We're all here. Greg, are you having a good Saturday? It's pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. <laughs> and Roxy's chewing her bow, which is good. Because you never know how. The table. I think she's just hit her little. She's just hitting her ear on the little thing that turn, makes it go up and down. She, you never know how Roxy's gonna be on the live stream, so she, she's being good. <laughs> Yeah, don't jinx it. <laughs> don't jinx it. So, Sunshine Tuna, winner, winner, chicken of the sea, ah. dinner. <laughs> awesome. I'm the first comment. What's funny is, is I had to look over at YouTube to see if she really was the first comment because our little software, they don't come in. Does it come first off there? No. Ah. Who's first up there? Tom. Tom. That's Be third. Yeah. Hmm. Because what happens is, is when I hit, uh, when I hit go live, whatever the very next comment that comes in, comes in first and then it syncs up with the other comments. Oh, oh. So, Weird. Hey y'all. Hey Tom. Hey Tom. LS Grillo is here. Hey LS. Big hello <laughs> from Asheville. Let's see here. Let's see if you get this one right. Jim is here. No, yeah. Jim is here. <laughs> Jim is here. Got scolded for that one. Just after the live stream last night? Yeah. Oh. If he doesn't want to be called James, he should change his change his name on here. <laughs> it's early. It's it's the weekend. I'm supposed to be like not doing anything. But yeah. Just over here, hanging out with you guys. Where's the uh, thermostat? I put it. It's in my office, but it's it says it's uh, the air conditioner's on, but it's hotter in there than it is in here, so I left it in there. Oh, okay. Well, it's not running anymore, and I'm hot. All right. So the hamster got the target truck and some mini whistles as well this whistles. week. Whistles. You know the mini whistles are pretty fun to collect because there's three different sets. I know uh -oh. we've talked about this before, uh -oh. <laughs> but I can't remember which set. I think it's the plastic pin set that's really hard to find. And it's there's the one with the reverse color too that's harder to find too. Yeah, that I think that's... Like, is it harder to find than the pin or is the plastic pin even harder? I can't remember. So there's either two with the plastic pin and one with the metal pin or vice versa. I can't remember. I could go get them, but that would... Okay, like, did you just decide to stop chewing the bone and chew the table? <laughs> it's like Roxy Nato in here. Luckily, her, she has, like, the littlest teeth. She can't, she doesn't really hurt anything when she chews on it. What is all this on the desk? You got, like, some weird grossness over there. <laughs> yeah, it ain't for me. I'm sure it's her bone that she was chewing. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. You don't. I. I don't. If you. If you want. If you don't want to see the gross stuff on your desk, don't buy a white desk because everything shows up on this. Keep a dark desk. <laughs> Craig's in his own conversations. I'm not. I'm just preparing things for the show. Unlike someone else I know. I didn't get the memo. Uh, let's see. Sunshine gets a trophy. Ah. Pesmerized is. Uh, doing the uh, trophy giving out. <laughs> nice. Anna Grams is here. Of course, now it's a beer mug. He says, Guten Morgan. And then he's got a beer mug with the American Maybe flag. It... I'm so confused. 
I'm so confused. <laughs> I mean, is it October already? Let's see here. Yeah, this is a great topic. We're going to talk more about this, but uh, I'm actually sweating. Um, hey, John, welcome, welcome. So, yeah, today, you know, AM is the live stream. PM is the virtual Pez convention. It's going to be a fun one. Yeah. Hopefully everyone signed up. Maybe someday we'll be able to do it in actual virtual reality. It'll be like one of those anime where you put on the helmet and go to the virtual Pez convention. That would be cool. That's right. See, Pesmerized noticed right on time and with sound. Listen, we give it to you once and then next week it'll be, you know, 11.05 and the sound will be broken. So take it when you can get it. We were actually like hanging out down in the kitchen and I was like, debating if I should make my coffee like half hour early because if I if I do then uh I'll drink it all before I get up here so we like were hanging out in the kitchen and talking and I was playing with Roxy yeah before we even came up we were like doing good and then, an hour extra gives you a lot of time <laughs> I know it's much it's much better 11 a.m. is More much relaxing better for us just to get up and get going and yeah hey Dennis welcome welcome hey Dennis Jason is here. Hey, Jason. Welcome, welcome. Jason. <laughs> this guy is here, finally. He said. <laughs> welcome. Wow. Where's, where's, all the, where's all the comments? Like, I'm already down to Tim. Tim and Rebecca are here. Hey, Tim. How's it going? Thanks for joining us. Hopefully, Tim, you're feeling better. I think we're going to have to come on with no sound just to generate some comments. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? <laughs> Our neighbor got a new, tr an old new truck, and it was loud. It's been like a month. Oh uh, yeah, that's it's gonna stay like that. Like it was even louder, I think, when they got it. I think yeah. they fixed it. Yeah, fixed. <laughs> I don't know. I understand the truck and the loud exhaust thing, but it was never for me. It was a cool sports car. They made me. No. <laughs> I'm more of the, I'm more of the subwoofers. Yeah, but you don't play your subwoofers in your house. Like you don't play it outside the house. Not since I was like 16. <laughs> Respect your neighbors, kids. Respect your neighbors. Although, I did probably cause a lot of trouble my teenage years with those subwoofers, <laughs> and there were a lot of adults that I'm sure gave me a lot of leeway. So. That's why I have. That's my turn to to ignore, you know, hot rods and subwoofers and things like that. And I'm glad to, glad to ignore it. I just complain on the inside like they did back even then. Even the Corvette across the street's not as loud as that truck. Well, that Corvette's stock. Oh, <laughs> well, it's not as loud. And that thing, mm, like it rumbles, rumbles too. Yeah. Tim says he's still sick. Oh. And it's his new thing. You remind me of the He Who Fights With Monsters <laughs> book. It's like, it's kind of my thing. That's what he says anytime something happens over and over again. I guess something happens to him and he can't fix it. Yeah, like, like, uh, I don't know. Like, if he's constantly late to something and they're like, where have you been? He's like, I'm on time. It's kind of my thing. But he says it with everything that happens over and over. It's better in the book, believe me. Better in the book. Pat is here. Good morning. Pat. Let's see. James Jim says I have some fun Pez cool cooking. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> All right, Jim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't want to put any like warnings out there, but don't eat plastic, okay? <laughs> it's not safe. Lay on ground, lay, light, fuse, and away. <laughs> that was the instructions on fireworks. All right, let's see here. Allie checking in with the hamster. Hey, Allie. Hey, Allie. How's it going? <laughs> see, 
It was fun this week watching another episode of Aaron cleaning up, or rather, rearranging the pest convention. Yes. Did you have another one of those videos? Another one? Did you? <laughs> yes. I'm huh. getting... I'm still working on the basement area of the Pez collection. I do I do it prefer... It looks way pref better down there. I prefer the vloggy type videos for sure. Yeah. Well, I figured why... I'm always like, I need to clean this. And Greg's like, we'll make it into content. Well, like, I need to clean it, like... Yeah. Like, I need to be cleaning it up more often. So, but once I run out of stuff to do down there... It's I do kind of want to take some of my vintage and rearrange them into their series better because a lot of times we get like one here one there we might get like a pony and then we get like like french is like the gorilla and then you know one week we get the giraffe and then we get some clowns i want to put them all into like the circus area and then like i want to fix my vintage se series area so it's a little bit more organized because otherwise Greg's like, what do we need for the collection? And he comes and looks and I'm, and he's like, and then there's like, might be one pony across the room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got a pony that I thought was a, no, it... was a, was a duplicate. And she's like, oh no, look, it's up here. It's not a duplicate. I'm like, what's it doing up here? It's brown. No, it's I'm, orange and blue. I'm putting the orange and blues together. I go. How about the ponies with the ponies? It's right above the other ponies, Greg. <laughs> I like my uh, my orange and blues, like the Pluto, the the Pluto in the the Pluto has the dark orange head and the blue stem. The Yappy Dog has the dark orange head and the blue stem. The pony has the same orange with the blue stem. Like they're all like the same. Okay. However you like it, I don't. So, it doesn't matter. Like, I just need to find it. Those three Pez, them. like weirdly, have the same orange color. I mean, it is Pez. It's just old plastic, old vintage plastic. But like, they all have the same color, and I think that's fun. So I, and they're all cute. So I put them next to each other. <laughs> I can separate them out, great. Ooh, I need to put one of those elephants over there. That's the same orange and blue too. Don't, because then I'll never like. Then I'll never find all the elephants that we have in this place. <laughs> They're already split between two levels. Like our our those are only our orange colored ones. Yeah, I left those up here because we talked about them, and then the mustard ones are over there. Yeah. You can't see one of them because it's behind that yeah. Barney Bear. Anagram says it's New Beer's Eve. Tomorrow is National Beer Day. Ah. You know that's a guy dedicated <laughs> to the craft. <laughs> craft beers all right so wait wait go back to john's comment oh okay well thanks john i appreciate it <laughs> he had enough air but time i'm glad that you liked it great Greg needs to go watch the video still <laughs> I, I typically do watch those videos because i like them i like the vloggy ones because you know the uh the other ones I already pretty much know all the stuff that yeah. you're talking about. So it was either that or go to Ace Hardware, and I looked up on the Ace Hardware site to find the Ace Hardware Pez truck, and the only one that's close to here is like, I don't know, like a half hour away, maybe not that far, maybe 25 minutes, but like I was like, Ugh. <laughs> and I've been needing to clean up, finish cleaning up the area downstairs. I made a, it looks way better down there now when we go down there and hang out. And uh, watch TV or... When we go to watch the virtual pets convention, we'll be able oh, yeah. to do it in style. The table, I still need to finish cleaning off. But I need to work on the Panda Pez display section. I don't... I'm going to need to, like, take another shelf or something because I don't have enough places to put the Panda Pez. Either that or take some of those pandas out. But there's not many doubles in that case, so... One thing, one thing it did kind of... I have a lot out, more panda stuff to put in. Is that, you know, we've been, like, we've been acquiring Pez a, a lot. Like, I mean, the loose, <laughs> the loose Pez that we just hadn't put away that we've been buying for the live stream. Uh -oh. I mean, it has to be hundreds of Pez. Like, it's a lot of Pez. Mostly vintage. Um, yeah. But that's good. Also, I like doing those because then I can also talk about... Pez. Or like, if you don't watch our live streams, you might not see that we get the new Pez. Right, right. And then, plus, when we get it on the live stream, I don't always go, oh, we have these other Pez in the collection too, so you can't see the rest of them in the series. 
unless I show them in another video. So that's kind of fun too. So that's another reason, I guess not just me cleaning, I try to show the Pez and talk about it and I try to throw in some fun facts. I don't know, when I can. <laughs> Paul says hi. Hey Paul. <laughs> Paul. Welcome, welcome. Sarah says, hi Erin, nice to did. Thanks Sarah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Sunshine can eat all the plastic she wants because she has free health care. Uh oh. <laughs> so get your money's worth there, Sunshine. Don't eat plastic. Don't eat it. It's bad for you. I don't think it comes back out, does it? I mean <laughs> I think it I think some of it does. <laughs> Is that just my cool plastics? Wait, you're skipping those you're skipping those two. It's the same thing. I just You gotta put them on there. I'm not putting it on there. <laughs> It's just Thanks, a sir. it's just a duplicate Thanks, because sir. she wants me to put it up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Aaron had the question we all ask: Why didn't ah, they make Dale? Yes, I ask that all the time. I guess I could just take one of those and then paint its little nose red and take the hat off. <laughs> Rexy, don't do that. What is a mudkip? Uh, oh yeah. A Pokemon. <laughs> is that a mudkip in the back there? Is that a mudkip? I don't know. Are you talking oh, about? Luna. Are you talking about this? Maybe that. That's a duck with flower, giant pez. There's no. The only Pokemon pez that are in here are. Oh, behind Greg. Behind Greg. Ugh. Wait, no, don't go that way. Right. Am I pointing at the right one? The second one there with the white stem, that's a mud kit. It's a mini, the like mini Japanese. See the blue one with the no, white it's like stem? A, uh, it's like a fish. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's probably what, is that Sarah? Sarah asked that, so. But the mini Pez, wait. Oh no, wait, I don't know, you can't see them. If, if we turn the camera that way, just a little bit. That red one, that one with the yellow and the red on the very edge, that's Pikachu. And the mudkip is... Oh, a mudkip. I'm mud pointing to it. It's yeah, right there. See it. It's next to Pikachu. I don't here. think. Unless, wait, does that go off the screen? No, you can't see it. Is that we're on the edge? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I have... Hmm. You might go look on my channel here under shorts or... Uh, I don't know if I ever made, or there might be a TikTok with some of those um, Pokemon mini pets. I can't remember. I have a lot of the Pokemon penny mini pets. <laughs> I should make a, I should make some kind of video with all the mini Pokemon pets because there's a lot of. Is there three series? Where's Roxy? <laughs> She's here. In my lap. She's been chewing her bone. So she's been being good. You can't see her because the stripe comes up on the screen. <laughs> you, you, and then she also just kind of blends in. If I wore white, you'd just see her head. And if when I wear black, then you see her white body. <laughs> Peppermint Pat says, "Yay, we got our free Eclipse glasses at Warbly Parker." Is this a pl is this a plug? Is this some sort of a? Are you a sh are you a shill advertiser? Maybe. We're gonna just look at the eclipse with our bare eyes. No, we're not. I'm not going outside. <laughs> Dangerous. The only thing we're gonna do though is we gotta I put saw our it like a few years ago. I don't need to see it again. And it's not a to total eclipse here, so who cares? Just don't forget to put our crystals outside to recharge. That's what oh. I'm saying. <laughs> like we need that. We need that. Do I new on Pez USA? I mean, when something's new on there, I do new. Do you need the new Pez on Pez USA? Is that what Jim's saying? I don't know what he said. This is two in a row, isn't it? Oh, well, he doesn't speak. His English is not his first language, so. Say it, say it again, Jim. We're gonna. We're actually gonna go yeah, gonna on Pez USA here in a second. Pez, yeah, we're gonna talk about Pez USA in a minute here, because uh, you're probably wondering the same thing. We're gonna talk about. 
Anagram says he DM'd Aaron a pic of my latest acquisition oh, to did? share. <laughs> oh, good thing he said that because I don't even, I don't, not checking my phone here. Look at you over there just in your own conversation. Your own conversation. Dang it, 9.37? I didn't even see this. <laughs> wow. Anagrams is early. Let's see. Ian or Ian is here, however you say that. Hey, Ian. What is up? I like the race car. Ooh, the red microwave. Ah, the red microwave is back. The red microwave is back. I recognize that at Grogu Pez anywhere. <laughs> um. Anna, or, yeah, it's anagrams, right? Yeah. He says that uh, these are his first non-footed Pez in years, and now the oldest in my collection. The FEB has a floppy head. So any sage advice on fixing it would be appreciated. Yeah. Let's see here. So floppy heads, you can show it on the screen. You have to Should turn I send down it your, to you? You can, yeah. Here, I'll send in. Sid sent me one too. That's what I was doing earlier. In this one. Saved. Sent. Come on. It's trying to send it to me. Here we go. I know. It's a, it has to go through all of them. Oh. Uh, did you get mine? I don't know. Yeah, I got yours. Oh. I might have sent it twice. <laughs> Here, get out of there. This? Yeah, I might have to just send it. Yeah. Why is this gotta be so stupid? You have three devices here. <laughs> Did it work? It goes on your iPad. Should I turn off my iPad? No, I'll just text it to you. It didn't go to the um, downloads there? No, it doesn't automatically go. Yours does because you sent it from yourself. Huh. Wait, no, you can pick. No, do you see Aaron's? You don't see. Right there, that first. What's the first one? It says waiting because of there. I mean, my thing's not open to everybody on my Mac. You just send it to I'll just send it via text. Send it via text. All right. <laughs> Open this up. God, that's stupid. All right. Just drag it onto the desktop. Okay, I was going to drag it to... Now I don't even know where it's at, though. Let me drag it to downloads. There we go. Let's drag it to the downloads. So there we go. Close that. We don't want everyone to see my messages. <laughs> yeah, people, you'll get embarrassed because all you talk about is Pokemon Go and Pez. <laughs> all right. And what were you eating for dinner? <laughs> so let's see. We'll go to Tim first. He got a vintage pilot like this. Probably. A football player and a gold Funko Pop Batman. Nice. My budget is messed up now. That's that's some nice pens, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. All right. So let's look at some pictures, and then we'll get we'll go, we'll continue back to the comments. Tim got Tim got some crystal pumpkins. Was that last week? So he's been getting some cool stuff. Okay. Are both of these two from anagrams? Yes. All right. Let's see if we can. Let us see if we can <laughs> go like this and then go like this. Okay. So here's one. So this looks like a skull, 
a skull A, a skull B, mm. and a light Wait, green. Wait, is that Hulk. the Blackstone one? It's, no, it's not black. That's not black. That's they're both uh, dark purple. And I put this over my face so it's less scary. Yep, those are awesome. Is that uh, skull? Is that skull B? Thin foot? It looks thin foot to me. Looks thin foot? Yeah. That's cool. It's hard to tell in the picture. Okay, and then... This camera. <laughs> and then we got a gorilla, no foot, an FEB, and a three-piece witch. Those are good acquisitions. Is the FEB just missing the metal? Was it is it a spring or a pin? Well, in the inside. Depends on what. Depend on you know if is it's it a fixable. Metal pin? probably not a metal pen it's or probably it not a metal is it plastic underneath or is it metal yeah depends on what the spring is if it's a metal spring it's likely fixable as long as the plastic didn't break but typically when you have head flop the uh the actual plastic breaks yeah like even this pilot we have, that's plastic in there. Yeah. Let me see if we have a, that one's plastic too. Look in that Hulk. Oh yeah, I was gonna say I want. I don't want to like open up those other ones really big. <laughs> this one. This one's plastic in there. Mm. I don't have a. I don't have a metal one sitting here. Let me go back to this. So. But you would know, like if you open it, you would see the metal piece in there. Yeah, if it's like. It's like this, where it has the little loop. What happens typically is the plastic loop just breaks just from use. And they get, even if you don't use them, they just get old and brittle. Yeah, there's no fixing that. You have to replace the sleeve. Yeah. Um, but if you, uh, tilt it, if you tilt it back and it just goes back, then... Um, and there's no like little metal... Um, spring thing to reattach to in there. I don't know. Does that you have to send us the side of the FEB? Okay. Usually the FEBs are plastic on the inside because there's it's hard to find the metal pin ones, but it could be a metal one. I don't know them by color. <laughs> Those are some good uh, additions though. If you need some, you know, no foot pez like FEBs are fun to collect. Then like the Greg always likes to get all the skulls and it's fun. Yeah. Those are those are fun no foot ones to look for. I see one with the sticker there on the right. Looking pretty cool. <laughs> I cannot figure out how to make it bigger. Okay, so this is from Sid. So he got an FEB. Nice. And then a Scrooge with the red stem. Is, is that, that a, a USA? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know if that's a USA stem or not. But it I think they of came like USA red. Yeah, they came USA and not USA. I'm pretty sure. A couple of uh, witches. Nice witches. I like that. I always like the green witch. How it has like a different color, green on top, and you look at it, and it looks like. It looks like somebody messed with it, but that's how it came. You know, there's actually two colors of that hat. Oh, that green hat. Yep. Uh, That's an nice. F E B in cello. That's real nice. And then looks Ooh. like a uh, nurse without her hat. Is the hat on there or is it just in the back? I don't think the hat's on there. Could be the angle, it could be on there. And then the hat's real small. A couple of clowns. Who's the clown? <laughs> We, uh, wait, he checked with you. Wait, no, we don't have that one with the red nose mm -hmm. and, uh, the green with the yellow nose. I'm not we mentioning anything red. else that I buy, by the way. We don't have any of those clowns. Wait, and then the, uh, Mr. Ugly. Mr. Ugly. I think I might have this Mr. Ugly. I'm I not feel sure. I like we do. 
With the red stem? And I think... It's probably... U is it the USA this, stem or not? No. Oh. So it's this, this black one's USA, though, because it has that colored face. And then... And then a uh, psychedelic eye, which is pretty cool. And then of course the pal down nice. here. Nice, all nice. Very nice. This is a good. This is a good haul. It's a very good haul. I, I like the witches. I don't see the pez in there. That did you? Hopefully you got your pez back. Did you say anything? Oh no, <laughs> I don't think he even wanted it back. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's enough zooming in. Jeez. <laughs> Motion sick all of a sudden. Yeah. It's hot in here too. I love seeing what other people get. Like I get people, you know, sending me stuff during the week or I guess I should probably show them here on the live stream, but I forget about that. And then uh she's using your watch. She didn't look in it. Yeah, but she's checking the weather. I just saw it pop up. Ah! <laughs> it popped up on the screen? Yeah, any what any app heck? you're using shows up in the on the Mac. So Grant has a question for you. How many years ago did you begin collecting? It's been like 30 years. Yes. <laughs> a long time. I've been collecting forever. That's how we have so many Pez. Like, I mean, you see what we buy during the year. And Pez usually releases like a little over 100 Pez every year. So for 30 years. And, I, and uh, for a long time, I mean... When I was younger, I mean, I didn't buy a lot of vintage Pez. It just, I would maybe save up my money and like buy one vintage Pez at the Pez convention every year or something like that, like something cool. And we sell but, uh, very little. Like we even keep our broken Pez. We need to sell. We try to sell stuff. Well, on our we so we have an eBay page or what do you call it? We have an eBay account where we list Pez, and it seems like we have finally been selling some stuff here and there. And it goes in waves. Like, we'll sell something, and then you want some, something for a month, and then you'll sell a couple things. So I need to stock some more stuff on there. Like, I've been selling the Snackles, the extra Snackles on the eBay. It's pretty cool. And I uh, sold some cool uh, Pez just the other day on it. So I need to stock it back up, though. Yeah, we, we do have duplicates that we need to sell. And I'm, let, I'm let, letting go a couple of the whistles that I really like, but uh, ah, you you bought some extra. You had extra whistles, like you would buy I know, them because there's just not many of them. So I buy them when I could. And well, sometimes you would buy them, and then you were like, oh, like yeah, and uh, you you knew you had extra, but you would keep it for a while. And then well, sometimes you have to buy things by the pair, like the collect. If you buy from collectors, sometimes they only uh, they only sell you a set. Yeah. So like a actual dealer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's see here. So, let's see here. The red microwave. I do remember now that you said, now that you said it, but I wouldn't have remembered it, so I'm glad that you reminded us. <laughs> let's see. So, L.S. Grillo, I purchased a giant SpongeBob, but it came without his arms and nose. Do you ah. know where I can get spare parts to fit? No. You're going to have to buy another one. I would say, yeah, buy another. I don't know. People have vintage parts because I think there's always, like, broken Pez that go around. Or and people don't throw the pieces away. Or, like, people have just crazy amounts of vintage pieces because somehow they acquired them over the years. <laughs> so, but I don't know about the new stuff. Like, yeah, I think you might have to end up buying another one. Yeah, Jim, I think Aaron showed... Like the last two pictures you sent, we you sent her. So I did the older one first. Um, what? So uh, that was anagram stuff. Oh, that was anagram stuff. Yeah. This is what this is what I meant to click on. Sorry, Jim. This uh. is what I was this is what I was trying to click on and talk about. That was not my latest post. Yeah, I said I showed the oldest one first. Then I got to the latest one. You need to buy a lot more FEBs. Like once you start buying FEBs, it's like an addiction. Ah, there's so many colors. Even even there's like slight variations of yellow and pink and I don't know. Even if you think you have them all, you don't. 
so Dennis says, I noticed space mission boxes are back on. Wonder if they are getting ready to sell individuals soon. Yeah, I don't know. That's a that's a very popular most asked question around here lately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like every, it seems like Pez is like, mm, all these collectors and all these people are just gonna buy these box sets. They're gonna keep them on there as long as they can, but maybe they won't ever release them as singles. I don't know. If they're smart, they would just sell them as box sets and sell more. But it's annoying when you just need a couple rovers or whatever. Or maybe they don't have enough rovers to go around, so they just do the box sets. So Sid got a bunch of, a few boxes of Japanese minis, may have a contest in a mini group. So if you're nice. on Facebook, just search for Japanese mini Pez and you'll find Sid's group. Maybe you'll get something for free. Um, I'm going to put this on the screen, even though it's for Tim, <laughs> but um, this is just a kind of another reminder to be very, very, very careful about what you buy on eBay. Like, even how long we've been doing it, I still buy bad stuff every every once in a while. Is that supposed to be Magic Marker? What's magic I think, mark? I think yeah, I think he uh, says Magic Marker. Did it have a red line painted on like, it? I think it had a red helmet or something. Mm -hmm. Can't remember what it, what it was. It had a pink helmet or something. Um... I don't know which one Sid's talking about. I can't read his mind. I'm just guessing based on what I've saw, what I've seen on eBay recently. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, for some reason, there is a ton of garbage Pez on eBay. Yeah. And you have to really sift through it. And they won't post... The people who have the stuff for sale on eBay, they don't, like, give you details. It's not like buying from... A known collector or a dealer, Pez dealer or whatever, like someone that really knows their Pez. Like you might buy something on eBay and it comes with a floppy head or it's uh, missing a spring or something because the people don't know what they're selling. Or somebody's drawn on it over the years and they just list it for sale and they don't know. Yeah, so this is what this is what what Sid is talking about. And basically what he's saying is is that helmet, the stripe is just colored on there with like a magic marker. So this comes, these, these footballs players come one of two kinds of helmets, either a plastic pinned on stripe or a sticker. This is neither of those. Yeah. I feel like, has that one gone around before? Why does, or is that just a normal thing, common thing that people I'm I'm do? sure like, the sticker comes off when kids play with it, so they paint it back on. <laughs> I mean, it was. It like has. I've seen, I feel like I've seen that before. Like it has a, uh, it has little. Uh, you know, those football players had to be super played with because they have little pennants you could stick to the sides of them. Oh yeah. I'm sure people just draw logos like on their helmets. Yeah. Like. Uh, yeah, true. That had to be a popular one to customize. Maybe it's more special if some kid has drawn a line down the the front of it. Here you go. Also, don't buy this one uh -oh. for five thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. It's because it has the box gray. What else is in there? I can't see it. Yeah, I mean it's nice. That's for sure. It has a box of candies, and what's that third thing? Just the paper insert. Oh. It's nice, but it's like maybe three hundred or four hundred dollars. Nice. It's not with the box. Yeah, I mean those boxes are are not. I mean they're they're rare, but it's not it's not like finding a Casper box. <laughs> not like a Casper box, is it, Roxy? Even the Casper boxes is like a couple hundred dollars. That's what I'm saying. Can find them. <laughs> All right, let's see. I see your bone gooies are getting on the table, dude. Good morning, Greg and Aaron. I was bummed that I wasn't able to acquire my Target Pest truck to add to my collection. Uh, I can't watch the entire live. My little city is having a parade in 90 minutes. Nice. Oh. Listen, those Pest trucks, or those Target trucks are going to be, I mean, I'd probably be at every Target forever. I Ever? Would <laughs> For a while. Yeah. There's people who got extras, too. Like, if you, if you really can't end up finding one... Like if your target just never stocks them or they sell out, just wait. Someone or just ask around. There's probably someone even in here that will send you one. I didn't buy. I bought. I didn't buy that many extras. I only bought like uh, one to open 
one I bought two to keep on car and I gave one to my sister like I didn't I was gonna buy more but then I was like I don't know like these aren't are they gonna actually be anything like usually the trucks are just mass produced so I can't imagine I can't imagine that Target is gonna make these limited edition that's my thought they don't, they don't say limited edition anywhere everything's always hot when it comes out so if you don't want to I mean, you kind of stress about it because you're like, I'm not going to get it, I'm not going to get it, but like, I wouldn't stress about it too much. And uh, you'll find one eventually and you'll probably get a good price on it if you wait. And if, and you know, if you need one, I mean, I can even check my Target here. I went, I haven't gone, I didn't go to Target last, this week. <laughs> I went last Friday when it came out. But uh, even my mom went like that Monday and she got she bought one at uh, Target, but I feel like she went back a couple days later and then they didn't have them. But some Targets, you have to ask for them and then the people bring them out of the back. Like, oh, <laughs> come on. They don't want, like the employees don't want you just buying them all, which, I mean, I get that. But then it makes it harder for actual collectors to find them because you got to find someone that stashed them in the back for you, you know? So Shep asked Anagrams what his favorite Pez was. So I just thought it might be fun to share that with everybody. Yappy Dog is his favorite, but I dig the Gorilla and One-Eyed Monster. Nice. Yappy Dog is one of my favorite too. It's cute. Like I really like the Yappy Dog. But my favorite comment of the entire live stream is right here. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't overpay, Dennis. As a matter of fact... You got it so cheap. So cheap. Like, it was such a great deal. <laughs> you probably should tip whoever you bought that from. Because it was such a good deal. Alright, so maybe let's you'll, see. Maybe you'll get an extra sticker in your box. It could happen. <laughs> maybe. Something could happen there. <laughs> let's see. This week... <laughs> <laughs> Pardon us. I moved it out of the way because I thought you were done. This week I bought a couple of wacky wobblers, the giant New England Patriots dispenser, a couple of Target trucks, hockey jersey, and a set of Olympic dispensers. Nice. <sighs> wow. That's a good haul. I mean, did you get more Pez than bees? That's the question. Pez and beekeeper collector. Wait, do you keep the bee? I just... <laughs> I just, I just have this image of this like crazed person, like eating Pez with thousands of bees around oh him. Like, I love Pez and bees. <laughs> you know? Do you have all the bee Pez? Those are fun. The, the bee movie Pez and the newer bee Pez. I bet they do. Now we have a new, uh, now we'll have a, a good hookup for honey. A honey hookup. <laughs> honey, good honey is hard to find. Like some real good honey. It's delicious. I don't know what this comment was for, <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> uh, too bad I can't paste pictures in chat. No, it's no, it's not too bad. <laughs> it's actually really good. It's safer. So, um, What's he on to Sid's share? picture, by the way, the oh. um, the Scrooge. Is a USA, oh, is and it? so is the ugly. Yeah. And what he wanted me to point out was that this was a yellow stemmed. That's yellow. It doesn't look yellow to me. Looks tan. Looks tan. Uh, apparently the stem color of the psychedelic eye is is somehow special. Nice. So it is special, Sid. Very sp good, good job. Good I job. I like those uh, psychedelic hands. I get nervous about them because of the stickers on them, but you just have to deal with it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Sid's saying there's a lot of replica football boxes out there. Yeah, but not, not that one, but there are a lot of replica ones. Uh, let's see. I saw some. I saw somebody sold... I saw somebody sold a set of crystal whistles recently on eBay. Look nice. They did look nice. Pesmerized. I mean, it may be the nicest set of crystal whistles that there are on the earth. 
I mean, I think so. And again, a steal. A Let's real see. whistle collector is crying because they sold their crystal whistles. Yeah, yeah. A real... Could be the largest Pez whistle collector on Earth could have sold those. Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. If you think you have the most, there's always someone out there that has more. They're just not... No, they, they might have some, there might be people out there that have more whistles, but are they a whistle collector or are they a Pez collector? <laughs> or, you know. Do they have as many variations? Do they love the whistles like they should? Perhaps That's the do question. Do they love the whistles? Do they love the whistles? I don't, I don't, I feel like people get the whistles just because they have to get them, <laughs> not because they love the whistles. All right. <clears throat> so, Sunshine, Sunshine, obviously. Contributing little this week, so. Not any pose. <laughs> she's gonna just, uh, she's gonna try to win something at the VPC. That's a good plan. Yeah, we're gonna try to win good something luck, too. Good luck, sunshine. D Dennis, he caught on. <laughs> I can bring them by once in a while so you can visit them. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's like Devlin and I. He brings stuff around to visit. Stuff that one of us may have had, the other now has. Aww. All right, what else we got going on? We got some good stuff to show you this week out of the boxes, though. You want to yeah. go to Pez USA real quick? Yeah, real quick. Pez.com here in the U.S., let me Release uh, share some it. new Pez this week. Let me for share the, it. For the, for the U.S. collectors. Stop looking at Sid's Pez. He's getting a big head. <laughs> Let's see here. It's a nice hole. Shh. Don't tell him. Mediocre at best. <laughs> Mediocre at best. <laughs> Especially the clowns. Those suck. All right. Maybe he's going to send you the clowns. Cause I know. He does that kind of stuff. I get all do. mad. And he's like, I bought this for you. And then I feel bad for like a week. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. Oh, no, she hates the live stream. She's like, I'll stick my head in there. All right. What do you want to... <laughs> we know you don't hate the live stream, baby girl. She's like, I like it when you pet me here. Okay, so what are we looking at? <laughs> go to this... Go to... up. Oh, go to shop. And go to all products. Oh, that's over here. No, no, it? no, no. Right there. Look down. Oh. Right there. You're right here. They Pez USA finally released the bride and groom Pez. Not all of them that Pez International sells. We don't get the mustache. And we don't get the uh, beard groom. So, but we do get the hair color and the stem color, skin color variation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. So that's that's fun. But I think that I don't I mean I don't have these to compare, but they should be exactly the same dispensers that Pez International is selling. But they have the different cards. So if you like card variations, you might want to pick these up. Or if you're getting married, you might want to buy some of these for, you know, some wedding favors or something. That's what everybody wants when they go to a wedding is to have a wedding Pez. Yeah, because then your guests can remember your wedding. With the wedding pez. I expect to go to some weddings and get a wedding pez, Gray. It's the only reason I go to weddings. Better not say that out loud. People will invite us to their weddings. <laughs> okay? Don't do that. I hate weddings. I don't want to come to your wedding. No offense. <laughs> I'll see you at the pez convention, and I'll say congratulations. <laughs> and you might get, like, a fist bump or even, like, just the, the eyebrow, like. Greg's so sweet. Congratulations. That's Just it. Just send us the puzzle that you give out. That's it. Wedding. That's it. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, these are nice. I like the I like the uh Are you gonna get down? The card. It says yes I do. You should keep it on the card just to remind your new wife <laughs> that uh she did agree to this. After all. Ugh, Greg. 
Don't make me get a whole box of these. Is it getting really cold in here? <laughs> no, I'm just, just finally stopped sweating. I feel like the air just kicked back on and I'm like, brr. You keep your little blankie on. I am. Wait, this one doesn't come with a mouth. No, it's there. It's just, those are like mock-ups or something. Oh. Uh, it's like a digital photo that, yeah, it looks like it's just photoshopped on the card if you look at yeah, it. Yeah, they're not real. It has no depth. They never use real products on their website if you ever notice they're always fake all right let's uh so that's cool so if you didn't buy these from Pez International you know you might want to pick those up or if you want the card variations you might want to pick them up I haven't bought them but I might eventually I don't know <laughs> John it's like I used to be a big fan of the coach whistles but I no longer own them anymore no, you don't. No, you don't. Where are they, where are they at? Are they in your collection? <laughs> could be in my collection. Or it could be soon in Dennis's collection. Oh. Who knows? <sighs> All right. You ready to open some boxes or what? Yeah. Oh, and tonight is the virtual Puzz Convention. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Let's go to the Vips dot com <laughs> v c p hopefully everyone signed up i did talk about it in some videos and on Virtual social media so hopefully you guys got the point to sign up <laughs> or if you don't follow them on social media you should so that you know when to sign up next time it's all free How do they do any? How do they do anything with it if it's free? Cause they people buy the they'll sell a Pez tonight, and all the money from those go to the scholarship. They do it just to raise money for the for kids to go to college. That's nice. I mean, they started it as a way to get together, but I'm sure you know it's like why not raise some money while we're doing it i'm so glad thing. people like that exist yeah they're nice it balances out people like me <laughs> guys are so bad did they list the did they list the agenda on here where is the agenda it's on facebook about faqs Let's look at the let's look at the merch. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah, those are cute. Like anything you buy or it, the money goes to I feel if I walk around with a cupcake, somebody's gonna make a rude comment to me. Well, maybe you should get the one with the people. Yeah, I have to get the one with the people. I almost wore my one with the little plane today. But it was, it's it's a bit chilly here. I like guess spring went away. <laughs> okay. It must. Is it not on there? Yeah, I could still do it. Yeah. Why wouldn't they put the the thing on the website? Oh. Let's see. Virtual pods can be. Okay. What's it all about? Is that maybe it? No, I was just there. Here, it's a cupcake. Roxy, do you need to go outside? Yeah, you better let her out. If I send it to... Uh... Can I send it? Yeah, you can send it. Here, I sent it to my... Okay, I got it. Here, let me go... Yeah, go let her out. out real quick. Hold on. She's having that. a connection. All right, let us look here. Do, do, do. Look at me, I'm all alone. Ha, ha, ha. No leash, no net. I can do what I want. Okay, let's look at this here really quick. Is it this one? No, dang it, Sid. Let's see here. Is it this one? Yes. All right. So at 5 o'clock, the welcome announcement. Then 5.05, where are they now? What is where are they now? 
So like, what are they doing now? Aaron's not listening. And then a mini tour with Andrea. That should be fun. Tom Sh Tom Schlaffer Schlaffer 3D pet 3D printed Pez seminar. Hmm. Another where are they now? Chris Jordan feature tour. I'm pretty excited about this. We've been talking to Chris Jordan for ever, and I don't I've never seen her collection, which I think is going to be pretty fun. Poetry corner with Joe Durant. I'm going to skip that. Um, let's see. Chad Davis non Pez candy container collection. That looks pretty interesting. Anybody know what a where are they now? What does that mean? Someone in the chat. And then 820, get your bingo cards and bingo begins. Hmm. Hey, Aaron, what is a where are they now? I don't, they either gave a tour before. I don't know. And then, you know, because they've been longtime collectors. So they, I'm thinking they either gave a tour before on the virtual pest kit, because we didn't go to the first, um, maybe two, maybe three, I don't know, maybe two. I've been going since, this is the fifth year, so. I mean, is it showing their old collection versus their new collection? I don't, I don't know what that means. Maybe just a, you know, like an update on their collection. I think they're, they're going to be collection tours. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well that's good. Not hundred percent sure, but that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I mean, a lot of these people are in the same place they were 20 years ago. Like, where are you now? I'm still in the same room in the same house, working the same job. Well, it's not 20 years. It's since maybe they gave the first tours the first year. There was one I'm thinking. Doug, we remember we met Doug in. Michigan. I remember I did corn. I played cornhole with his wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Chris Jordan, she is the one is the um, collector dealer that owns and runs the Pez uh, Pez collector store. So yeah. it'll, it'll be fun to see their collections. I think. I don't know what I. I don't know what they mean by where are they now for the virtual. Mm -hmm. I know. Me neither. Like I think, you know, a little description of what's going on would help. But I guess people are just going to come to the thing no matter what. Yeah, I think it's just going to be like a, like they probably gave a tour before because not, you know, usually you give a tour and then that's it. It's like Pez people, all day. I don't know. It's going to be fun. Mm. It's just like your uh, one chance that you get to play bingo. Oh, I'll be listening to my <laughs> audiobook. I won't be participating. <laughs> After the virtual post convention, you can stay on the Zoom and you can interact with other collectors too, so that's kind of fun. Like it's not just, it just goes all night. You can just hang out, talk Pez all day, all night. You haven't enjoyed the Zoom in a while. That, those were always pretty oh, fun. Oh yeah. No, they moved it to Monday and Monday is like. Oh yeah, I can't uh, do it on Monday. <laughs> Monday's like the worst. You're asking a lot, like just going to work on Monday is asking a lot. <laughs> Like sometimes I see the Thursday one, but I never joined that one, so I don't know. I don't. I mean, I'm sure the same. Some of the same people are in there, but I don't know. I'm not like a. I wish, I wish this one wasn't cracked. Check this out. This has got a little crack on it. You probably saw us open this like a year ago on the live stream. You may have seen that in Thursday's video. Mm -hmm. But the green with the pink sleeve is just so awesome. Like I love this Pez. That's why I've kept it. But well, even it's gonna be a donor Pez here really soon. I don't know about that. Yeah, we're gonna use the the spring. Just you said it's like a ten dollar Pez. And I it's know. Broke. I know, but it's still pink and. Those hawks are a dime a dozen. Like, if you start looking, what's is there something wrong with that up there? I don't know. Just put. It down. I don't look at it. <laughs> I mean, I have an. I have other USA blue stems. I could use probably if this. It looks okay. I think. I think it might have a little. Sticky widget on there. Oh. Yeah, it's a stress mark. I don't know if this thing's even worth fixing. So who all signed up for the virtual post convention? Who, who am I gonna see on there tonight? Are you gonna be there, Greg? Probably not. 
<laughs> you already talked about us pulling it up on the big screen down next to the pose. Shh, shh. Look, when you left, we dropped from 35 to 25, so now people will come back probably. I just left for two seconds to take Rexy potty, but she didn't Guess who's go. back? Now she's back just, again. Now she's just doing who knows what outside the studio here. Look at that. Look at that. We should get a commission. It's there's. <laughs> we'll be on it. We'll be on there. I just tell people because it's fun. Like, I mean, if you can't go to an actual Pez convention in real life, the next best thing is the virtual Pez convention. I mean, the next best thing is hanging out with us on Saturdays. But then the next third best thing is the virtual. Like, we have a virtual Pez commission every week here. Like, people show us what they got. Exactly. Talk about new stuff. If you want to do a collection tour, like if you go to the V, if you're watching the VPC and you see them do those collection tours, if you want to do something like that, we will absolutely have you on this live stream to do it. So, um, we've had, oh, Sid. Yeah, Sid did it. Wait, did someone, Hamster made? Hamster did it. Hamster made yeah. a video. Sid made a video of like their new, like an unboxing type video or what they've gotten. Or, uh, yeah, hamster showed like his trucks. Yeah, but I think I think we might even be able to do. I'm gonna test it, but I think we could even do a live one. Oh. So we could send you a link and you can join it with your phone or something live. Yeah. That's risky though, so we have to know you before we allow that. But uh, yeah, the 3D printing seminar. You know, I, I have always wanted to buy some like maker stuff. So like a 3D printer, um, a laser cutter and some other things like that. Um, it's like the learning curve just using that stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, it'll have to be when I stop working. Yeah. Which it has to be just for fun, you know, like you can't like doing it for money, doing it for work. That's just You're not sucks. supposed to sell, you're not supposed to make and sell Pez. Like Pez doesn't like that. Well, no, but you can make and sell things to go with Pez. Yeah. Yeah. But pe these people who 3D print Pez and then they're selling it, like Pez, I don't know, some people get away with it and other people get cease and desist letters. So I don't know how, how it works, but you know, Pez is, they see stuff. Like you can't just take their, you know, their yeah. Pez yeah, but I mean, trademarked <laughs> and sell it. They know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You don't do it for a business, but doing it for a they hobby is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy? She's up to no good in there. She's up to no good. Jim, just message uh, Aaron. We can... Uh, what do we have for sale? I don't know. Maybe some of the... Whistles? Maybe he wants us to buy the USA stuff and send it to him or something. Oh. Which, we, which we do do. We're not at a Veronica well, level, but we do do it. Yeah, as long as it's not like... The limited edition stuff is hard to get... Hard enough to get. Oh, let's open some boxes, shall we? Yeah. Is well, that all we're going to talk about? Yeah. We're already an hour in. That was... Uh, that was fun. We're going to see all these folks at 5 o'clock anyway. Folks. Today is the day of Pez, so if you're not going to the virtual Pez convention, shame on you. Wait, did anyone say they signed up? Yeah, Anagram signed uh, up. I mean, did anyone else sign up before today? Oh yeah, people are going. People are going? Yeah. You don't have to turn on your camera. Like, you yeah, can no. just sit there just on watch the Zoom it. without your camera on. You don't have to have a camera or a microphone or anything. You just turn it on, you can see stuff. I wish they would do it like, uh, like you can have Zoom set up to where you can have breakout rooms and you can do a thing like room hopping where people can have their host their own rooms and you can go through them. You can hop between them. Oh. So like we do that for tech <laughs> seminars. Like if I want to learn about one thing, I can pop in. If I want to learn about another thing, I can. They I would can... have to get a lot of people that participate too. Yeah. That would be kind of fun. Yeah, you could do virtual room it's hopping. It's like a, uh, virtual panels when you go to... I always think that they need to figure out a way to get to have, like, real Pez dealers 
sell. That's what I'm saying. You sell stuff in the room. Oh. And then the first person to PayPal it, you know, like you take it and you put them, put it in their box. Yeah. They need to figure out something like that. And then, well, I don't, because people would want the money. This is like proceeds go to the um, scholarship. But there should be a way. Maybe people donate pets or, I don't know, somehow a way that you could buy stuff. Or maybe like the proceeds go to uh, the virtual pets convention, not the whole price of it. I don't yeah, know. there's a way to do it with Zoom. No, I'm just no, I'm just saying like there's gotta no because people would want money for it, not a donation or. Well, yeah, the dealers. Just have, like, a regular, yeah, the dealers would have to like you couldn't sell, buy a table or something. Yeah, then they would make money off that yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's a whole nother like level. <laughs> this one little bitty Pez is in that giant box. <laughs> Listen, I appreciate that. Better than an envelope. Uh, Roxy! Tim's got the idea. Ooh, box. box, box, box. Box, nice. Noise. Does it look okay? Yeah. It does have like a little, uh, might just need to be wiped off spot down there it's pretty good not bad let's put it up here you want to look at it let's i'll just show here right here this is a usa black stem one-eyed monster with all of the teeth which is rare roxy come here come here i mean it's definitely in like played with condition but it's not bad I mean, it's got the. Oh my goodness, get out, out, okay. Did she dig up her grass? Hey, there's a mess in there. <laughs> That's because we're ignoring her. There you go. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? So now I can add that to our lavender one. So now we have two USA, USA one monsters. You said we needed to double check because you were like... Yeah, I don't know what stems it's supposed to come on. No, you were like, do we have this? After you bought it, you were like, we have this? <laughs> Seems like something I would already have, but... I couldn't find it, hence the discussion we had earlier. Did you look in the Halloween section? The I believe so. The vintage Halloween? I believe. Looks nice. Looks good. I'll, we'll add it to the collection. It's, you know, the uh, stem could use a little bit of uh, I think it needs clean up. to be cleaned. A little wipe down. And the black. Is it black or very, very, very dark brown? Black. The USA doesn't have a dark brown. It almost looks like a... <laughs> Yeah, it's just, ew. Yeah, it's dirty. Okay. Yeah, don't put your fingers in your mouth. All right. Oh, okay. Don't look at your pens under a magnifying glass. We'll do. Just, uh... And then, well, if you do, clean it, because this is gross. Is there, we only have two boxes for today? Yes, but this one's got lots of really cool stuff. <laughs> Nothing came yesterday, did it? I don't think so. Did you check the outside? I did. Okay, so just bring them one at a time. Leave the best for last. This is the best one. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't. Am I in the middle? Yeah, just. This is a Mickey Mouse Pez on a red stem. And you're like, Aaron, that's just a boring old Mickey Mouse. Well, it's on the USA stem. Yeah, and I think Mickey came on every color USA stem, which is super cool. Nice. Nice. Hey, it's not in focus. Girl. That's. Ugh. Beautiful. I'm only collecting USA vintage pets. 
all the other ones thrown away, melted them into my stew tonight. Eat them, <laughs> feed them to tuna. <laughs> Not the fish. <laughs> this is a good one. Tim like, says, looks like me in the morning. That was the one eyed monster. <laughs> that, um, I think the display, when we have all of them, all the different colors, it's going to look cool on the display. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. but this is your first USA Mickey, I think. I think so. We've been getting some Plutos, and we got this nasty goofy that you don't want to look at under the microscope. <laughs> under the... Yeah. The Oh, I thought the donor head would come in. Yeah, we'll we, probably come today. We ordered, a, we ordered a parts goofy. Because Greg, I kept saying, Greg, I don't think we have one. So finally I went down and looked. Greg's like, oh, we have plenty of goofies in the collection we can just use. And I go down and look and there's not, <coughs> we don't have any <coughs> extra. Like we have like, barely any goofies to start with. We have some really nice ones like the blue USA one. And like a pink head one. One with teeth <coughs> that don't remove and then. Get that dog. <laughs> What is it, Roxy? Come here. Where's she at? I don't where oh there she is. Come here. Come here. Come. 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 You don't like that box? She doesn't like this box. Okay, we'll get it. Here, give it to me. I'll put it over here. Hi. Does it smell like someone else's house? Yeah, not you happy? Come here. Come here. Just oh. grab her. Oh. I know she'll jump. Come on. Look. She gets distracted <laughs> easy. Okay, go to the next one. Wait, I was going to get something back here. Oh. I didn't turn around just to get back, so I turned around to get this. There we go. Come here. Come here. Look, Rex. Look. You have grass on your snout. I saw something about a Mickey Mouse on a popsicle stick. <laughs> what happened to the comments, Greg? <laughs> Gee, I wonder what what else Greg bought here. Talk about oh, some cool vintage whistles. This is a green, all green. What? Oh, that's a mono whistle. It's an all green, and it's on the USA stuff. Come here. Nice. Okay, let's put mm. this up here. I usually don't show the mono whistles, but I guess the people can see it. It's a sweet treat for you today. It is a sweet for treat. You, for you Pez viewers out there. There's a lot of controversy over mono whistles. Comment in the comments, is this real or fake? Don't do it. Is it real or fake? <laughs> <laughs> do it. If you don't comment, I'm gonna be sad. People can't handle the mono whistles. It's just gonna twirl here on the screen until, until you comment. It looks nice. Like look at the, look at the pets you, like look at that. Like look. How do you not love these USA stems? I know they're great. The color on them are just so pretty. Don't buy them. They're, I'm just, I have to buy them first, and then you guys can buy them. All right. That's right. That's Quit telling people what we like. Bad, right, Rexy? I forgot nope. I bought that. This one? Mm -hmm. You must have bought it a while ago or something. I did. I did. Mm. She has grass coming on her. I think it's like stuck in there. <laughs> That's gross. What? What? So Anagram says, what's the T on the mono whistles? So mono whistles never came mono from Pez. Or if they did, they were either errors or such low quantity. But the, the, the best explanation is, is that some folks knew some people that were home workers for Pez. And the home workers would make whistles that they liked. They, with different stems and different colors and then they would either keep them or sell them and uh you know one dealer in particular had a lot of connections had a lot of 
friends that were Pez homeworkers and apparently, you know, got these. So that's where I got them. But um, the story goes for the ones that I own is that a Pez homeworker put them together and, you know, packaged them up and sold them. Yeah. Now, if you talk to other dealers, <laughs> somebody just popped them apart and put them together to sell them for more than what they're worth, which could also be true. But the ones I the ones I have, I actually know the. Well, I trust their where they come from. So. Um, so if you see a mono whistle floating around, yeah, it's like it it's like a could not be real. It's like a like an Austrian test piece. It's just like that, really. <laughs> like you know, like one of the guys knows. A factory worker in the in Aust in the Austrian factory and makes a pink headed skull, right? It's the same kind of thing. And they put them on the cards. <laughs> yeah, same kind of thing. That's the tea. So when you see them, not knowing their source, it could be just some person destroyed two USA whistles to make one yeah. mono whistle. Yeah. But it's hardly worth it because you know a USA whistle is probably worth a hundred, hundred and twenty five bucks. And a mono whistle, maybe 300 bucks. So, like, you'd have to break two of them. I don't know. It's not worth doing it, in my opinion. <laughs> These are cool. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. So this is a 3-4 thin feet. And it's in this blue color that I love. So they make the the thin foot three four. I put there's, it up there. There's maybe two or three colors for the stem, but this is the oh, one. On. This is the color that I like. So you most most often see these on like foghorn leghorn. Sylvester. Sylvester. Is that? <laughs> no, it's not in focus. Go closer. Go your hand closer to the camera. Can you read it? Can't read it yet. It's hard to see you in this light yeah. blue. Oh, maybe you saw it there. Yeah, but this this thing is super, super, super rare. I didn't get it in the middle. It's not. Is I mean, it doesn't. It's, it doesn't cost this. Like the cost is not equivalent to its rarity. Let me Ooh, say it that way. That. You can see the patent number on there. Yeah. I think, I mean, you have to want these to yeah. know to look for them. You just kind of find them every once in a while and you buy them. We have, what's the other one we have? We have Foghorn, Sylvester, this one. Well, finding footed ponies at all is yeah. risky because, yeah. you know, they're they're from an older era. Yeah. Yeah, Pez and Rise, the whistles are supposed to be glued. So from the factory, they're glued. You're not supposed to be able to pull them apart, but some people do. And then they re-glue them together. Yeah, this, this is a great color combo. Honestly, this blue, I love this blue color. Yeah, it looks really good. And now we're starting to stack. Like you can find knights knights and pez pals with this color um not maybe not knights maybe knights i can't remember all the ones i've seen but i've seen some really if it comes on three four there's a potential to see it with this stem with the footed three four and it's weird that they're all just light blue they're not all light blue there's two or three different colors of footed. oh we all all of ours are light blue that's because that's what i like uh. <laughs> they're not all light blue uh. I thought they were. Because that's all we ever get. <laughs> Looks nice. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it was just like popped on there or whatever. No, no. <laughs> oh, it's... Okay, just sit there. I'm working on it, okay, I'm working on it. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Well, message me. You can maybe work something out. <laughs> Is that another nice one? You know, on eBay, I gotta pay all sorts of fees and stuff. Oh. So. I know, that's the bad thing. I mean, eBay's... That's not the last one, is it? No. E you do that one last. E eBay's good at selling stuff, but yeah, you have all these fees. And I don't think a lot of times buyers realize that. Because, like, you'll get offers and you're like, you know, I have to at least make $10 on stuff. Because otherwise, it's like, what's the point of selling it? Because eBay takes a huge percentage of that. It's not huge, but it is. It adds up. Especially if you do, like, prom promotions and stuff like that. This is a two... It's a 2 6. 6? Is that what it yeah. says? Austria? 2 6. At least these pads are all clean. I don't feel gross touching them. No. <laughs> okay, don't do that. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So we actually have this Pez, but in a slightly different color stem with the red, what do they call it, bridal? Yeah, I can get it. It's yeah, grab it. This. Wait, is that the same? Is it the same? Mm. Oops, that one seems a little lighter, doesn't it? That's what I'm saying. It's, li it's a little bit lighter of a stem, oh. but it's close. You can put them both up there. Can I come back around and then I'll stop it? Noise. I guess I should have stopped it over here. It's easier to see the colors of the stems when they're sideways. Look at that. The, the new one has no shoes. There. And it's like a little bit lighter yeah. blue than the one with the red has. It's way more blue, like color in general, just blue. Or saturated. <laughs> yeah, the uh looks pretty. Yeah, different color eyes, different color head. The hair seems to be pretty similar, like almost exact, I would say. Yeah, pretty close. Just just these minute differences in these ponies. Yeah, there's a lot. Like we have and the blue seems most there's a lot of red and yellow ones too. I don't know, it seems like there's a lot of these. Like I have a couple more over there. Oh, wait. Get rid of those over there. So you can put them up there. So Tim wants to know if Roxy's done in classes. Oh, she's, uh, she moved on to like group training. So she goes to that once a week. So it's different. I missed the puppy class. That's my favorite. Marie, the the eyes aren't bigger. I think they're just not pushed in as far. Oh. They're uh, they are different, slightly different color though. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. They so like the little there's like these little inserts for the eyes. You probably know that, but like these this this one here on this looks like it's pushed in like way more. On that this one it's like it looks like it looks like it you know like kind of sticks in there like even this side sticks out a little bit more yeah the light so I think blue it's just that like it's a um, illusion the light blue is a two six yeah like this one the eyes are like i don't think they're supposed to they're not supposed to stick in that far but someone probably just jammed them yeah down I mean, over just the some years. you probably could push them out i don't know but is that is the other one a two six this older one yeah. No, it's a wait. It's a three four. It's a three four Austria. Yeah, three four Austria. Yeah. The um. Yeah, I mean they're slightly. One of them's slight. The darker one's slightly newer. Yeah. They look nice. Sometimes it's hard to find these ponies, like the hair's broke yeah, or the always. bridle's broke or the missing an eye. 
So is, that, is there only of, one more left? Yeah, all kinds of crazy stuff. Now for the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail of the week. There was only one Pez in that other box, right? Yeah. Pretty sure. Yes. This is cool. This is a USA pony. That's just my hair, Roxy. Sorry. I think I tickled her ears with my like hair. That. It just tickled it with my hair. These things are extraordinarily hard to find. So I had to snap them up when I find them. You see how the eyes are pushed in on that one even? Mm -hmm. The blue on this is so pretty. It's not pretty at all. <laughs> I'll put the other, let's see, like this one, that's the one we had. This is the new one we got today. And then this is the other new one. Do we have a spot for it? Does it gonna fit? Is that on the screen? I can't tell. There you go. There's the herd for today. Looks nice. Yeah. Well, the one's not new, but the other three are. That's our first USA Pony. We tried to buy a USA Pony around Christmas time, but it was faded, so we had to send it back. A purple? A lavender one. A lavender one, yeah. But, uh, yeah, this blue one... I like too. It's the cheapest of all the USAs. So that's pleasant. <laughs> I've been it's... trying not to buy crazy expensive Pez. We bought some other stuff on eBay this week, but none of it came in. No, well, we need it for next week anyway. Yeah. It seems like sometimes you get stuff on eBay and it comes like a couple of days. Other times it like takes a week or more to get here. <laughs> we'll probably get a bunch of stuff today in the mail. Seems like Saturday. We get sometimes we buy stuff during the week and then it comes on Saturday. It's like the it's like the shipping rate on it. Is Roxy okay? <laughs> yeah, she's ready for a nap. I have to admit I'm ready for a nap myself. Are you ready for a nap, Greg? Yeah. Well you better relax and uh not do much before the Pez the virtual Pez convention starts. It's five Eastern. Yeah. Right, starts at 4, 4 central. So it's 4 here. And then bingo starts at 7.30 central, which means it's going to be a long night. Oh, yeah. It goes it goes to, like, what, 9 or 10 or something, mm -hmm. usually? By the time you play bingo, oh, and then you can hang out and talk. It goes for a while. But you can always just jump in and out, too. I mean, you don't have to go to the whole thing if you're... I know. there. There's a there's actually footed 2.6 that are even rarer. Mm-hmm. Um, I've seen a couple. Like I know someone who has a Sylvester footed two six. It's awesome. <laughs> is is our uh, is that MGM that green MGM? Is that a footed two six? No, I don't think so. I don't know if we have any footed two six, but they made footed two six. I don't know how that happened, or what in the world was going on, but they definitely exist. This is a 39. 39. This is a newer stem, like. Yeah. It doesn't even have the maiden country on it. Yeah, I need to I need to start collecting how many what colors there were for the three four footed. Because I think there's only three or four colors. I saw someone had a collection of just those three four footed in that blue color. And uh, Was it a lot of pez? I mean it was like fifteen of them. Oh really? 15 different Pez, or at least. And it looked really cool lined up. And it was Pez you would never think. It was like pals and ponies and just Pez that just just what's looked our, so what's weird. Our, what's our, what's our, we have three downstairs. I can't, it's Sylvester, a Foghorn, and, oh. It's, a Blue. No, uh, Yo, uh, what's the bear? Think, blue? Not the Blue, but Yogi. You know, the butterscotch looking bear. Poo. Poo. We need a poo. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's it. 
Oh, that's another orange and blue Pez. Mm -hmm. I think those are the three we got. The Sylvester is faded, so he looks terrible. Not Sylvester. Foghorn Leghorn's faded. Uh, so he looks terrible. But Those seem to come up more often than some of these other ones. Or maybe you just notice it more. Yeah. All right. We're at hour 30. It's time to rock and roll. Yeah. 12.31. Right on time. Roxy's ready to take a nap. Oh, yeah. She's so tired. I'm ready for some lunch. She's sleepy. And uh, I'm ready to take a three and a half hour nap before the <laughs> VPC starts. Yeah, is it that already? Wow. Oh. Yeah, it starts at four. So, yeah. I mean, it's already 1231. The live stream went by really fast. We are done a little early. Okay, so uh, anything else before next week? No. What do you got on the agenda for this week as far know. as videos? You haven't decided yet? <laughs> I do, I have some notes I've been taking, I've been trying to make some uh, variation videos, so I've been working on a couple of those behind the scenes, so I might make one of those, it might be a very nice one, I'm just going to say, but it's not going to be pandas, what? <laughs> and, uh, i trying to think, uh, I don't know, I have some ideas in my, uh, in my one note, so I'm working on it. Trying to trying to plan some of these ahead a little bit farther. So I think it'll be more helpful. <laughs> sometimes I have a lot of good ideas and sometimes it's like mm. but uh also uh I did tell Greg some pens I we should look for for sale. I already forgot. So uh I need to maybe make maybe we need to make like a list of some that we need to look for. So I can actually like finish some series so I can actually make video about those. Because sometimes you buy like a Puzz here and there, or I buy a Puzz here and there, and then it's like we don't have the complete series. I'm talking about for like vintage stuff. Oh yeah, you mean the uh, Bicentennial? Yeah. You finish well, that, the Bicentennial. that might be hard to find that. I mean, I don't know. But uh, like some, like then I can make some videos. So there's a couple I was thinking of that Greg probably needs to put his efforts into yeah look look out for those so well thanks everybody for watching us today and joining us it's so much fun i think we had some fun pets conversations going on in the chat today i thought that was really fun yeah i love always to hear what you guys you know get during the week and uh anything else no let me uh put the link to the vpc in the chat so that uh, oh shoot! You just you're just search virtual. Yeah, if you just search Pez virtual convention, Pez convention, it'll on, come up on eBay. It'll pop up, but it's virtualpezconvention.com. Yeah, and it's all free to sign up. You just get on with your computer, your phone, whatever you had, your iPad, and uh, you join in. It's a lot of fun. All right. Thanks Time everybody. Go. See ya Tuesday. Thursday for regular videos. Hopefully some more short videos. I did film a couple more short videos for this week already. And then uh, we'll yeah. be back Saturday for the live stream. And we'll see you on the VPC later. And we'll be at the VPC. Say hi. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.